In this part of the tutorial, we will try to see the app to app navigation tutorial part 3 here. And here we will be majorly dealing with the opening up of an application which is already existing in your device. So, in the previous part of the tutorial, where we have discussed if the app is not installed on your device, then we will try to install it from the Play Store or App Store if it is iOS. So, if you have not gone through our previous tutorials, I am providing the link for these two tutorials in the description section below. So, I suggest you to watch them before getting started with this particular tutorial if you are having any queries. So, now let's get started with this particular tutorial and try to implement the configuration to detect the existing app in our device. So the first thing what I would like to see here is like let us navigate to the Android manifest file here and on the left pane here you can see we have got Android selected so we could see all the folders of Android here and by default it will be selected to the project folder here for your flutter application and here you need to get redirected here so this particular lib folder consists of our flutter project here like flutter uh, main dot dot files which we are dealing with the flutter code and here you can see android and ios here and also linux mac os and web also available here so as we are currently dealing with the mobile application so I am dealing with Android in this part of the tutorial and in coming tutorials we will also try to implement the iOS configuration as well. So now in the Android directory let us try to open the app folder here and in the src you can find this particular Android manifest file. So here in the main directory here we are having Android manifest file and this is currently being opened on our screen now. And here we need to add another set of intent filter which will help us in identifying the another application which is installed on our device and here one thing is for sure you cannot open any other application which is not developed by you so here both the applications we are developing for example in facebook if you try to tap on messenger application then it will try to open up the facebook messenger application because the messenger application in manifest it is already configured to receive the intent from the facebook app so here if the configuration is being done in the android manifest file yes then you can try to open up the application from your application but if the configuration is not made or if you are not aware of the configuration then it's not possible or it's not easy to open up the another application here so here let us try to specify the another set of intent filter here and the first one here what we are going to specify is like action and here we are going to specify android name and also make sure these particular letters what you are typing like android dot intent so you should not make a single spelling mistake here because even if you do any spelling mistake these mistakes are not being compiled or you cannot know like there is a spelling mistake uh, happened in manifest so here i have specified view in small case but this should not happen we should specify view in capital here because they are specified in a capital case and we should follow the same capital casing here and the next thing what i am going to specify is like category and here i will also explain everything here what we have written like view what does a view do here so here you might ask why you are specifying a separate intent filter here because by default when an activity is created we got this particular intent filter which is like main and launcher and this additional filter what it does is like it will define like what type of intents which it can respond so here if you observe both the intent filters are tied up to this particular main activity and when this particular intent filter is being triggered then it will be it will open up our main activity so it's not only main activity if you want to open any other different activity then you can just try to add the intent filter on that particular activity and here we are having main activity as launcher and also we are dealing with flutter application and make sure if you are not aware of like what is main activity 
activity and how we can add another activity then here i am going to show you you need not know what is a main activity here because flutter handles this particular main activity for you and you can just create new screens in flutter and it will handle all the uh, backside configurations for you regarding android so if you are a professional android developer then you might be aware like what are main activities and how you can add another activities if you want to know and here uh, so we have added an intent filter here and in this particular intent filter why we have considered view here because when we add view here so this particular component can handle request regarding to view something okay so such as opening a web page or a file something like it, it deals with this particular kind of content here so it's like a basic thing what we can say view here and in the remaining like these particular categories we are going to specify much deeper level of things now so here uh, android intent dot so this time we are specifying a category so i am going to specify category here and it's like default so again default is in capital case here and also close this particular category so again this particular default will specify like this is general action which is being performed so here we are not specifying any specific action so this is a general action which is being performed and it is of a type category default here so as we are having other we are also going to specify one more category so alongside this particular category we have specified this like a default here and now comes the another category where uh, we can specify it to be like browsable so uh, browsable in the sense like from web pages we can open this particular intent here so when we are trying to open the application when you tap on a particular web link then you can open this particular application so that's what the configuration what we have specified like browsable here and the final one is like data here and the final one is like data here and so here it's like of type android schema we are going to specify and uh, this is the schema here for our application i'm specifying like amplify ab and also you also require a android host here so you need not specify any comma after android schema so android host here i am going to specify it like launch and also here we did a small mistake here as i have said earlier so here we have specified category in a capital case and so this should not be done so we should not specify in a capital case and this should be like small letters we need we should specify category and yes now uh, the error is gone so here the schema specifies like amplify abi and this will match with the another application which we want to open so if the, both the schemas are matching then we are able to open the application and if there is no match between both the schemas then it's not possible to open the application so here for android host we will specify launch so that we are able to launch the application whenever we try to find this particular launch as host here and so this is it for this particular tutorial and in coming tutorial we will try to implement the second application and try to run this particular code and check the output like how we can open one application from another application so this is how we can configure our application to open another application which is being installed on our device so this is it for this particular tutorial if you are having any queries in this particular implementation let me know in the comment section below and the code for this tutorial i am providing in the description section below and also the links for the previous two tutorials i have added in the description section below so if you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on flutter